You know, for years we've been broadcasting highlights of great chamber music from Music from Angel Fire, this extraordinary annual summertime festival in the mountains of northern New Mexico. But it's so different to actually be here. I've told stories for years just from looking at their website and looking at pictures. But wow, to be here 9,000 feet above sea level amid the aspens and blue spruce and bristlecone pines that you can see behind me, and to feel the atmosphere of this unique chamber music festival. And it all begins with the longtime artistic director here, Ida Kavafia, not only an extraordinary violinist, but she sets the tone for everything that happens here. Wonderfully intelligent about the past and present and future of this art form of classical music, but also fun and funny and goofy, and with a real sense of community. And that's much of what this festival is about. The whole point is to bring this great chamber music to people who would never otherwise have access to it. The musicians are the same folks who play at Carnegie Hall and Lincoln Center in New York and the Concertgebouw in Amsterdam and the great music halls around the world. They come here for three weeks to this little town of Angel Fire, New Mexico. They play in churches and community centers. And my goodness, the first concert of this season was in a trailer park. They make a point of not just setting up shop in concert halls, but taking this music out to the community and have been doing that for the entire life of this festival. And they set the tone every single day by going for a walk. You could invite everybody into a boardroom or a conference room, put the agenda for the day up on a whiteboard. No, Ida and her husband, Steve Tenenbaum, take their dogs, their vislas, their Hungarian hunting dogs, out for a walk on the trails through the forests and woods and all the musicians come along and bring their dogs and the crew of the festival and artists and anybody else who wants to come. They go for a little hike in the woods every morning at 7.30. And yeah, they talk about the rehearsal that's coming up, but they also talk about the weather and the clouds and the thunderstorm that rolled through yesterday and what the dogs favorite treats are. <laughs> it just sets a completely different tone for the day and brings everybody together. And then after that, everybody's breathing together and thinking together and making music together for the rest of the day. So what a treat to finally be here and see this and feel it and experience it at long last. Thanks, Ida Kavafian and everybody here at Music from Angel Fire. Can't wait to go home and share these highlights with PT listeners coast to coast in the weeks and months to come.